In medicine, there's often the question, how do you know that? You guys talk with real conviction that this is a fact. Well, there's an experimental technique used called a knockout, i.e. if you think that something is very important to a biological organism, if you make that organism deficient in that thing and then you produce the effect, you prove that whatever that item was is important in treating whatever condition you're talking about. A really good example about this is related to problems with the hyper-clean environment we live in and the consideration that maybe a lack of exposure to germs, healthy germs that is, is potentially causing issues for people. So what scientists have done is they've taken mice and bred them in ultra-sterile environments. These mice have no gut bacteria. They are completely sterile. And as a result of that, we've found that those mice, their brains don't develop in the normal way. So that's really strengthening our opinions that the gut microbiome is very important with regard to both mental health, neurological development, and potentially, because we're stretching the point here, potentially has an issue with regard to neurological diseases as we age. So when we're saying try to look after your gut microbiome as a way of generating health, it's not just that we've had a good idea, we've actually removed the gut microbiome from some animals and we've seen that's not good for their health. So when you find doctors and scientists advising certain things, the question is always what's the evidence base behind it? And often that evidence base is really quite good, certainly from a scientific perspective. But just because that evidence base from a scientific perspective is good doesn't necessarily mean it's good from a clinical perspective. And this is the thing that we always struggle with sometimes. When we have a mouse model that's really, really good, we're not mice. So yes, it could very well be that this is true. And we have good evidence to explain it in mice. And if, in the example of looking after your gut microbiome, if there's no real negative health impact for doing a thing, and it potentially gives you a big benefit, then I entirely support patients engaging with that way of supporting themselves. Now, if there's a debate that there might be harm associated with it, that's a different thing. Then we want clinical trials indicating the benefit to humans. But if we don't have that, as I say, and there's no harm, definitely crack on and look after your gut. Take care. See you in the next one. Cheerio.